shall I? Wait, Hello. I have an yes. idea. But you, you, can, you can get inside. I'm so sorry. Uh, can you call me <laughs> and you just tell me what to answer? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Like this, look. Because then they don't see it. Just phone no, me. Yeah. And it's very good. No, 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 no. They have to see it. Uh, Christopher, I'm sorry. I have a, cri cri an interview. <laughs> Так, ну что я? My level of beauty is low. Ah! Ah! Uh, I, I can feel this interview is going to be funny. I, I hope so. I, I need only funny. You need funny? Only funny. Because... Uh, look, it's... this is funny already. I I'm so sorry, to... they, look, they, look. Don't, they don't see Look, it. I forgot to... I see something look. which is not for... For, for camera? <laughs> no, the questions were not so funny, but they will be now. Very ah, funny. you will have, uh, yeah. But I this is this is discrimination, funny. guys. No, I'm sorry. Why do I have to be funny? Uh, <laughs> that's because you are already. I am. Yeah, I'm sorry to say. It's in, it's new for you. No. Hmm? No, it's not. Then it's okay. Thank you so much, Maestro, for coming here, and for the birds are happy too. Uh, is it your first visit to Verbia? Yes, it is. What do you feel about it? Um, I feel honored. I feel really, of course, happy because I heard about it so much. And, uh, and I was following the previous editions very much too, on Medici, on the internet in general. So yes, it's a big honor for a young, young performer like me to, to be here in the middle of like, such great stars of our world. So, How many concerts do you have? I, until now, had two and I'm having one uh, in about a week, uh, so in total three. And during, for how long period? Uh, I arrived, actually I arrived for the opening concert um, when uh, Christoph played, uh, Barati. Я не очень люблю вот этих. Я ненавижу их, но поскольку сейчас интервью, я не прыгаю на столе. Я тоже не прыгаю, обычно я кричу и Я тоже кричу. Может быть, сейчас я себя очень, побежим. очень, Мама! очень... Так, все. Она ей Пошла. нравится мои духи, наверное. Так, ну все, ладно, хорошо. Все спокойно. У меня хорошие духи, это значит. Да. да. Продолжили, да? Да. Okay. So uh, uh -huh. I came for the I came for the concert, the opening concert, because I really wanted to listen to Christoph Baratti playing, uh, and also the fifth Shostakovich of uh, Maestro Gergiev. So I arrived on the 18th, and I will leave on the 30th, 30th, 31st after my last concert, so about 12-13 days. It's really, really great period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I have to ask you the question which is uh, very uh, important for the Russian audience because we know uh, very much uh, your uh, family, Zori Shekmorzaeva, yes. who is your grandmother, grandmother um, Robert Bushkov, who is grandfather. your grandfather, uh, your uh, father, Evgeny, Evgeny Bushkov. Uh, so everyone is violinist in your family. What is to be a violinist uh, in the family of violinists when you are very young? Is it really awful, or it's you can stand it somehow? Oh, you know, I uh, you just quoted now the part of my father's family. But if we add this the part of my mother's family mm. you will have the exact same because my mother is also violinist mm -hmm. and my grandfather mother's side is also a violinist uh, only my grandmother uh, is a stranger she's piano pianist ah. but uh, that made it actually really nice because I had the chance to grow up because I grew up with my mother's side of the family mm -hmm. uh, in France mm -hmm. I had the chance to also play uh, with my grandmother uh, together so not only violin but also piano and uh, I have to say when I was a kid I heard literally every member of my family practicing violin at home literally my mother my father my grandfather uh, so for me I was probably three or four years old uh, it was pretty much like hearing a language mm. at home like you know um, if everybody at home speaks I would say uh, English it's very um, difficult to imagine a kid would start speaking Finnish. Uh, he will probably start speaking English. So when I saw all my family members playing violin, I of course wanted also to speak the same language because at home it was like a language. Like um, you realize 
all day long, like for five, six hours, you hear violin, violin, violin in one room, violin in another room, violin in this room. So I took some sticks and I started to imitate them. And uh, very fast, my grandfather asked me, do I want to also do this? And uh, I said, yes, of course. And then he gave me a violin and then I started. So I never, rem I, I really don't remember myself asking this question, shall I, shall I not? I wanted to do like my parents and I wanted to speak the same language like them and uh, I guess I just did. Uh, speaking about languages, so as I know you were born in France. Yes. Nationality is Belgium. Belgium. Uh, you now live in Germany. Yes. And you are from Russia. Uh, Russian origins. Russian my parents, origins, yeah. yes, your pa parents from Russia. So uh, what language do you think in? I don't think in any language, I think I think in images and uh, then... Depending... How many languages do you know? Um, I think it would be French, Russian, then English obviously, German a bit and Spanish a bit because I learned it in school. So you I don't like... think in in language? No, no. I, I, I know people always ask do me like... Do you think? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's a good <laughs> to question ask. to ask. I guess I guess I do sometimes. <laughs> sometimes Does I feel... it help? <laughs> uh, no, this uh, definitely not. We have a common problem. It's okay. Right, 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 right. Mm. No, but um, I realize that sometimes I can even like count uh, in English, mm. or I can count in French, or I can no in French actually not. Even people told me that you have to dream in languages, and this for sure not. This I dream only in images. Uh -huh. That's great. That's why they are dreams. Do you have idols in? Uh, violin horizon uh, except your uh, um, Rodstvinki. Oh, so you think my, um, uh, my, my family have to be idols? For uh, some period, I suppose. Uh, there are quite good violinists in, fantastic, your, fantastic. in your family, so that, but, I, um, that was a question. When I was a kid, my grandfather used to tell me, don't build up yourself idols. Mm -hmm. Don't live always with idols in your head which I think it's a brilliant advice, which I... become an idol yourself. <laughs> no, but I, I never managed to follow this advice because I always had idols. But the more I um, experience the musical world, the more I understand that, yes, there are people who are closer to me and to closer to my ideals and uh, in the violin playing, as you asked, violin playing, but above all in music, yeah? So it's not about violinists. I have idols which are not violinists. Uh, exactly example. because, well, I have few. From the ones who are alive, I would quote very easily Menachem Pressler because I think what he's able to express in music and how it's uh, to me, uh, this is a horizon, it's something I cannot reach. Um, but if we're talking true just about violin playing, I had some idols uh, which were really idols until a certain moment, but they were probably not from the alive musicians, uh, mm -hmm. they were from the ones who are dead um, and who are not with us anymore, but we have the recordings to, to listen to and I was very much into Heifetz for a while, very, very much. I was studying all his recordings, uh, all his life basically, because I think his life was fascinating, all his, his personality, uh, the Jim Hoyle personality in the Yasha Heifetz, so I was pretty much of a fan and I still am, but I realized that this uh, kind of uh, life to live in the past is also maybe not uh, the best way to feed the musical world which we have today. So we have to live in the present and we have to anticipate a bit uh, the future too. So um, here in Verbier, I, I probably as uh, my um, fellow um, role model colleague uh, Barati said before, I met already a lot of other people. I witnessed two of his live concerts already, like uh, Bartok Violin Concerto Number no. Two and uh, Brahms Quartet. And in both concerts, I experienced again this uh, kind of proximity of, of of feeling and of violin playing and of music making. I was feeling like, wow, this is something that I didn't experience so often um, uh, live. Actually, never. But um, then it's not about being idols because they're different musicians which deserve respect for what they're doing. 
And um, I guess when I listen to a concert where I like something, it can be, you know, it can be very short. Um, a concert can last one hour, but if there are five minutes that I really like, or one phrase that I really love, uh, then I'm really happy. I don't need to have this one hour long, I just need something to touch me, something to interest me and to grab me by the collar and then I think, wow, uh, this is an artist which deserves uh, at least my respect and my um, uh, kind of uh, understanding towards what he's doing. So about this idol stuff, it's uh, pretty hard. I mean, when we're young, very young, it's of course uh, it's Happens. helping a lot, mm -hmm. but after a while, I think it's good if we manage also to to get a bit distanced from this feeling. Okay, uh, as soon as our battery is going mm -hmm. out, um, let's come to not serious questions. Okay, uh, I've read that you um, wanted to be a rock or a rap musician. What happened? that you decided to do this and what happened then when you decided to quit? Oh, you know, um, probably, well, that was the age when, you know, I was an adolescent and I was realizing that maybe uh, not everyone was understanding the job I was doing in classical music. And as any adolescent wants to have his position uh, really marked and, and, uh, and, and really appreciated, I thought, yeah, well, uh, with violin and classical music, my fellow partners and friends, they don't really get it. But as soon as I took the electric guitar and I started to to play some... Uh, everyone got some, it. Yeah, the, every, everyone got it and it was huge success immediately, although I was playing really bad. <laughs> and, um, and you know, for like one, two weeks, it was the most happy moment of my life because I took the violin out, I made a huge scandal with my grandfather about it, so I didn't talk to him and he didn't talk to me, actually, it's the other way around. And, um, and then I started to play the guitar and I played a lot, I was watching some videos, learning like this. And then after two weeks, I started to realize myself that it's kind of bizarre um, that I play not so especially good, the guitar, but everyone loves it. <laughs> and somehow I was practicing just two weeks for real. But with the violin, I was practicing at that time already 11 years, and uh, I thought I was playing quite good, but no one really liked it. So it was the other <laughs> way around. And, um, and then I started to miss this process of uh, working hard, really hard, and still not seeing any result. So it's probably kind of masochist, da, da, da. but um, let for? me tell you, let, uh, yeah, because it is like, a, you know, once you get into the music and you start to practice it and this instrument, um, it's almost like a drug that you really cannot get rid of it. It's like, uh, yes, I think uh, Barati was saying earlier that this is his life. And it's true. It's, once it's there, you can't get rid of this. And um, even though I tried, and I thought, okay, I will still be in music, I will do some rock or something like this, but it's not the same. So, What's uh, the difference? Uh, that's really hard to explain. I felt it here somewhere that I'm missing the process of working, I'm missing the process of thinking, I'm missing the process of hard work, etc. I missed it. Um, but to not sound like a complete masochist, I will tell you that I still kept the rock and roll part and the rap part and all this pop stuff so when I have um, a, a fry, uh, fry side, when I have free time which unfortunately happens less and less I still can sit at the computer take my guitar uh, I still can you know compose something for fun uh, write some stupid lyrics make a stupid rap out of it and then I share it in with can you please tell us stop, something stop, stop, stop. What performance. Mm -hmm. Thank
que je me demande aujourd'hui c'est pourquoi on a, on a rigolé quand vous nous avez prévu que ça allait arriver, que c'était là devant nous et que si on ne faisait pas attention ce serait bien pire que chez vous. Tout ce que je me demande aujourd'hui c'est pourquoi on a, on a rigolé quand vous nous avez prévu que ça allait arriver, que c'était là devant nous. Et que si on faisait pas attention, ce serait bien pire que chez vous. J'attends avec impatience que ça se finisse. J'irai dans la rue, serai le premier venu. Okay, now I have to go to practice.